Now to be able to customize uh, the buttons, we need to download the list file. So I'm just gonna download the project again. And instead this time, I'm gonna grab the list folder instead of the distribution. So there is this list folder. I'm just gonna copy that. And then for this project, we need to be in HD Docs. So if you're on Mac, it'll be on Applications, MAMP, and then HD Docs. On Windows, it'll be C backslash window, um, C backslash ZAMP, and then HD Docs. So let's go in here, and I'm gonna make myself a new project, and we're gonna call button, we're gonna call that button custom, and I'm just gonna put that here. So the list folder contains all these guys. So we need to make a couple of files here. Well, obviously index. And I'm gonna make one main.less here. So we're gonna put all the over overrides here. So let's get started. I'm just going to open this in Sublime. Here's the index. Now, to be able to see uh, the site or the local, um, the local files, if you're uh, Mac, you'll go to localhost 8888. If you're on Windows, you'll just go to localhost, but make sure that you run the server. So basically, if you go to applications, map here, there should be map right there. So double click on that, we'll give you uh, a way to run. If you're in Windows, you go to start and you can just search for ZAMP and it will give you a control panel and you can click on um, the, the Apache server. So let me show you actually maybe I have a local server running. So give me a second to run the server. I'm sorry, let me, the local um, virtual machine. Okay, so here in Windows, you go to, you can look for ZAMP and it will give you the control panel. ZAMP, there. Control panel. So once you get control panel, you can run Apache. You start Apache and basically then you can just navigate to localhost and it will serve the pages that are in htdocs folder and htdocs is and again c zamp htdocs right there so you can put the project here and you would navigate to localhost localhost just just like that so let me go back to the project here okay so here we're starting the server and it's gonna go defaults to 8888 okay so let's go to our project folder we call it button custom so now it's serving the index file okay so we're ready to go so we need to add a bunch of files so obviously the the less file here instead of style sheet we need style sheet forward slash less and let's see where the file is. So, htdocs, okay, we're in uh, bun custom. Okay, so the file is in less bootstrap.less. So, less bootstrap.less. And we also need the Porsche at um, the, uh, the, the less compiler. So, let's go and get that. Let's see, it's dot org. I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to save it on my desktop and then I'll put it in that folder. So here's the compiler. I'm just gonna copy copy that and I'm gonna put it where my other files are here. So I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, so my file is here. Okay, so if you look at the documentation here at lesscss.org, you'll see that you'll need this portion. So basically you just need to add that script so just a it's basically a script tag and the source is the name of that file because we, we put in the root so we have access to it so here i've loaded bootstrap but you know a better idea would be to actually load it inside main so i'm going to change the link to main i'm going to open up main less so i'm going to quickly import bootstrap so bootstrap is in less bootstrap less you don't need to put that less is implied so end it with a semicolon so now that's imported and we're ready to custom customize our button so let's open the buttons that less that's just in here less buttons the less so I'm just gonna quickly open that so here 
you can see that they have these variations for the button. So we can make uh, our own. So let's copy this and let's just paste it here. This is going to be our extra button. So I'm going to paste that. And did I miss something? Yeah, I'm just going to just copy this again. I think that got commented out. So okay, so that's good. And they're just going to change info to extra. Okay. Now we need to add a bunch of stuff in the variables file. So the variables is down here, there. So I'm just going to open that up. Here, as you can see, the brand colors are defined here. So we're going to define our own brand extra. And let's just pick a color. Let's pick a, let's pick a color from this page. Uh, let's say this color. I'm just going to paste it in here. Okay, so we got that color. And we need to go also all the way down in the button section. So here, I'm just going to copy this portion and paste it here and change the info with the extra name that we defined. So that should be fine. Now we can go back here in our HTML. I'm just going to center the page and make it button. Our buttons now it's called extra. And I'm just going to put some kind of some text in there. So let's open this up. And there we go. We have our own very own button. So now you can give it let's say button block and it becomes a block just like that. And you can give it button large and becomes large. Good. So that works just fine. So yeah, I hope this introduction was useful and I'll see you in the next video.